What's going on guys? It's been a quick minute, so I'm doing a quick gaming vlog. It is um, the 17th, Monday the 17th, late on Monday actually. Uh, by the time this goes up, it'll actually be uh, Tuesday the 18th. But who cares, I'm still calling it a 17th, Monday the 17th, um, October 17th vlog, so yeah. Um, I do have some things to talk about gaming-wise, and a lot of stuff I've actually acquired uh, lately, so this might be a bit more of a beefy video so first thing I want to talk about is I did get these a couple days ago um, a friend of mine got these for me picked pick, pick these up for me at Meyer. Um, so really cool more World of Nintendo stuff these are the uh, 2.5 inch figures here three of them and then we got a four inch figure um, this is the um, Metroid really cool and then we got an orange squid it's the two which is really cool and then uh, Tom Nook which I like these, um, I like how this box has like the Splatoon splatter and stuff. I like how this has like the Animal Crossing stuff on it, really cool. And then for the 4 inch, we have Slippy. Fox, get this guy off my tail! <laughs> but uh, cool. Uh, Slippy, and then as you guys, I don't know if I've shown them before, but I do have, do have Fox and I do have Falco. So I do have uh, three of the four. They haven't made a Peppy yet. I'm hoping they do make a peppy hair because uh, that I would, I would have the complete original Star Fox team. So that'd be really, really cool. Um, besides that, um, on Saturday I did go and see two movies. If you follow me on Twitter, you've already known that. Uh, these are the two movies. They are um, these are my tickets for them, anyways. The first one was Yokai Watch for the. Uh, 11 a.m. Saturday showing. This was the 15th. And then this one was Godzilla Resurgence, otherwise known as Shin Godzilla or Shin Gojira. Uh, this was 145, the same theater. So I wanted to see Godzilla, and then I saw they had the Yokai Watch event on Saturday only. And this was, it was in the same week as this, so I figured I saw them back to back. Why not? It made sense. So uh, really good movies. Um, Yokai Watch actually. Uh, it actually got a round of applause at the end, which was pretty amazing. I, I didn't expect that. I, the whole theater um, like had a round of applause pretty much for it, which was cool. Um, lots of lots of kids, lots of teenagers, uh, lots of parents, and lots of adults, such as myself, were there for Yokai Watch. There was fans of all ages for Yokai Watch. It was a great experience. There was no rowdy kids, no dumb teenagers. There was no um, there was no you know idiots. It was just great people um you know people had their had their figurines and plushies there and stuff it was just a cool experience and i actually i'll go on record and say this this is the first yokai watch movie and i think this movie is better than the first pokemon movie i actually don't care for the first pokemon movie i think it was kind of bad but that's just me but this movie was, was really cool um Godzilla Resurgence, um, it was a really good movie. It was a really good return to form for Godzilla, and I did like the American one, too, that came out a couple years back. So I'm hoping they make sequels of this one, because then we'll have two Godzilla series at the same time, which will be amazing, and I cannot uh, wait for that. But this was really solid. There were parts that were flawed. Uh, I can do an in-depth review of it if you guys really want me to. I know it's not... I don't really do movie reviews, really. I do more gaming stuff, but if you guys want to hear me talk about Godzilla, I will definitely do that because I'm a big Godzilla fan. I've been a Godzilla fan since I was a kid, so yeah. I'm going to keep these tickets. I do have a ticket collection, actually. I know a lot of people do, but I, I do have a ticket collection. It's um So I'll be putting those in my collection, and uh, especially since they're limited showings, which is even more special. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh yeah, because of the Yokai Watch movie, they were giving out these special um, Hover Neon medals, and I got two of them. It's kind of a funny story of how I got two of them, because you're only supposed to get one per ticket. So, I already had both of these pre-ordered, Godzilla and Yokai Watch. So I walk into AMC, I use their ticket machine, slide my card, these print out. So I go up to the guy ripping the tickets, and I tell him, I tell him, hey, I got two movies today, and it's just me. I don't have it, and no, no one else came with me. So you can see I'm a party of one, and I say, hey, I got two movies today. And he, he rips them without looking at both of them and goes, oh, okay, two? Okay, here you go. And he picks up two medals. Because for whatever reason, he must have thought that I had two tickets for Yokai Watch, even though 
I was only a party of one. It was kind of funny, like, but I wasn't going to argue, and they had plenty of medals, so it's like, you know, why not, you know, whatever, so, um, to get two medals, so, that's pretty cool. Um, that same day, the 15th, was sweetest day, so later in the day, I did spend time with, uh, with the girlfriend, and she actually got me this, uh, Jibanyan figurine, so that's actually really cool. Uh, I love Jibanyan, Jibanyan's so adorable, and he's funny, so, got a figurine for Jibanyan, really cool. And, I'm trying to think, some other random stuff here. I did get my Volcanian cards, these are at GameStop right now, from the 10th through the 31st. So until Halloween, you can get these at GameStop. I got three of them because I own three games. I own XY and Omega Ruby. So got. I think this is the first time that we're getting Volcano. I'm not actually. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is a first or second time. But what's cool about it is it's level 70, so you can actually train it. So that's cool. Uh, also at GameStop, I decided to pick up this Dream Trigger 3D again. This is a couple days ago. Um, $1.79, so can't go wrong. It's in pretty good condition. Case is a little bit... It's got some, like, pressure points on it, but other than that, it's pretty good. It does have the manual, which is cool. Um, this game came out relatively early in the 3DS's life cycle. I've yet to actually play it yet or try it out. I've been just been so busy, but um, there's so many games that came out lately that I don't have time to play everything, unfortunately, between working and, and life and stuff, but... I am going to get around to this eventually. Um, I have heard it was really good, a really good uh, first-person flying shooter. And um, the uh, it, it looks like it'd be really good in 3D. looks like it'd be really good in 3D. And from what I heard, it is. So, yeah. And then I did get this in the mail. I told you guys I'd unbox this. This package is actually um, from Nintendo Life. I made a video a while back to sum it up. Um, Nintendo Life was giving out some free um, swag from some of the Nindy titles. <coughs> Excuse me. And I entered, and I won. I was one of the winners, so they sent me some stuff. So I actually, I have, it is open, but I haven't actually peered inside yet. So we're going to actually unbox this right now. So the first things first is, that's awesome. Garuman 3D, a monstrous adventure. I think this is like a decal or sticker or something, but this recently did come out for the 3DS. Um, it's got a lot of positive press. I have downloaded it. I've played a tiny bit of it. Again, I haven't had time, but um, it's it's an amazing game. Um, it's you know like a classic action action dungeon crawling, um, you know platforming elements, so to speak. You know, it's like it's just it's just it's a game that we need more games like this. So definitely give it a try. Check it out on the 3DS. It's, on the eShop. There's some other stuff here. This says, it's like a little lan lanyard and it says, uh, World to the West. So that's actually pretty cool. And what else do we got here? These are some pins. Some pin, what is this? Uh, chicken, chicken wiggle? Not actually, I'm not actually sure about that one. I haven't heard about that. Uh, more World to the West, which is cool. Mecha Zoo. And this is... Oh, another Gurman 3D. Cool, I, I'm glad that I got the Gurman 3D merchandise because, like I said, I, I want to support the title. So, what do we got here? There's one more thing in here. It's like a postcard. I think that's, I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's another World to the West thing. So that's really cool. So that's the stuff that came in my Nintendo Life package. Thank you so much, guys. Um, definitely, like I said, if, if you guys don't follow this site, uh, Nintendo Life is a brilliant Nintendo site. It's one of the best, um, definitely the best in my opinion, as far as like reviews and eShop exposure goes. They really give a lot of exposure to eShop titles and Nindies, which is amazing. So between them and Go Nintendo, like Go Nintendo is like my main news source. Nintendo Life is my main. Um, like review and info source for like certain Nintendo games. So definitely, uh, those are like my top two Nintendo sites, really. And um, thank you so much for sending me that package. That's awesome, guys. And there's not really much else. That's that's pretty much it for stuff I've gotten. Um, as you guys know, these are two of my most recent games: Paper Mario Color Splash and Dragon Quest Builders. Now I've played a bit of Dragon Quest Builders. Um, 
I haven't gotten really too far into it though. I've actually been playing a lot more of this. A lot more of this. I've played several, several, several hours of Paper Mario Color Splash. I love this game. I am so addicted. I don't know what it is because I really did not like Sticker Star. And this is very, very similar to it. A lot of the same, I guess, problems, if you will, are still in this game. But something about this game is just more fun. I don't know if it's the way, like, I, I will say I like the cards more than the stickers. The cards in this game are a lot more fun. The battle system is very much more fun. I like using the gamepad to paint the cards and flick them and stuff. I haven't gotten tired of it yet. I know people, some people say, oh, it's tedious. I love. No, it's actually really, really fun. It's a great usage of the gamepad. Um, the painting mechanic. The painting mechanic is just fun. I can just, I can go through those levels for hours trying to find every hidden colorless spot and everything i just oh man it's just the the dialogue the dialogue is hilarious i love this guy i love uh love huey huey's awesome i'm just i'm i'm addicted i'm actually gonna play some more of this after i upload this video um definitely so i'm just i'm so addicted to this game i can't I, I don't know what it is like i really love this game even though it's very similar to sticker star which i didn't like i don't i don't know i think i've tried twice to go back to sticker star and I mean, I mean, I've tried twice to, to play through it, I mean, and I think after I beat this, I'm going to go back to Sticker Star for a third time. And who knows, maybe third time the charm, you know, maybe maybe third time's the charm. Maybe it'll finally click with me or something. I don't know, but we shall see. But I, I'm really, really loving this game. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders is good, too, but I'm, this is what I've mostly been playing. Uh, oddly enough, a lot of stuff I was playing, like Yokai Watch and Dragon Quest Seven and stuff, like a lot of that has been kind of... I kind of put that on the back burner because I've been playing all of this. Like, this has gotten all of my game time lately, which is, like I said, really shocking. I did not expect that, but it's just so fun, guys. It's just so fun. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to talk about. Um, oh, there is plans for, for future videos. I will have an unboxing tomorrow. It'll probably be tomorrow night, so it'll probably be, um, you know, late tomorrow night, um, That'd be the 18th Tuesday, so I guess later today when you're watching this video, um, you'll have an unboxing, and it'll be a game, maybe a 3DS game, so um, I won't say what it is. It's nothing too big, but uh, yeah, it does come out today. You can probably, you probably know what it is, but yeah, that'll, that'll be there. Um, next week on the 25th, there'll be more unboxings. I have some Wii U games coming out, and uh, yeah. And still waiting on the NX, so there's not really a lot of stuff to talk about lately. So, and I've been busy with work and trying to trying to get some game time in. Like I said, I've been addicted to this, and yeah, so I've been all over the place. So, I do apologize for lack of videos here and there, but I'm trying to stay steady on them. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will definitely catch you later.